요구하는 40.6도의 기 높은 가각으로 지구로부터 제일 가까운 거리 450km 제일 먼 거리 1426km인 Hey guys, u m e g a s here, and today I'm going to talk about world events. So, this morning, North Korea launched a missile, and this missile was carrying a satellite of some sort. Now, everyone in North Korea has been ordered to celebrate, so they're out celebrating, but the rest of the world or at least a big, quite a large number of countries are up in arms about this, saying that, that it's just the beginning of North Korea starting to develop ballistic missiles. And the United States are paranoid that they might be de developing ballistic missiles to fire at them. So, I don't know, this is whole big thing, I guess world politics, I know there's Japan called for there to be a, a UN Security Council meeting as soon as tomorrow, so it's obvious that more than one group of people want something to be done about this, so we'll see what happens. North Korea already had one failed attempt firing a missile into orbit back in April. And I was watching a CBC report earlier who said this was a surprise launch. I seem that, that seems kind of funny to me considering um, they had an article about it saying there was going to, that North Korea was planning a launch about three weeks ago, so it doesn't come as any surprise to me. But. Whatever. And on a totally unrelated note, the hockey lockout is still going on. So, no more hockey for quite a long time. Which is kind of sad, because I'm getting much, much less to watch on TV other than uh, Pawn Stars, which is a really great show, but I miss my hockey. Big Bang Theory's good too, but still, I miss hockey. Now, my logic is each day that the lockout's extended is they're losing more money. I don't see how they're going to gain any money in just dragging this on trying to get a deal. It's just make it play nice, make nice, just get a deal done and get playing hockey so you don't lose a whole lot more money because you're going to lose people's support too. And um, that's, I don't know, Israel and Palestine, that's another current thing, but it's a big mess. And Egypt, their so-called democracies sort of falling apart, maybe. I don't know. They're saying the president's abusing his power, which seems him trying to give himself control. Abuse. Thanks. Nice, that's been my political update. See ya.